No, you're not seeing double. This is Hot Rod Hangout. I'm Jay, and of course Rod is with me here. And welcome to this week's edition where we check out what is new at Rod's Hot Rods on Faithful Avenue. We decided to dress alike today. Okay, I got something. You're too young for me to remember the movie called Twins. Yeah. With <laughs> De Niro and... No, not De Niro. Not De Niro. Yeah. Big muscle guy and small... DeVito? DeVito, not De Niro. DeVito. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. There you go. Twins. I do remember that movie. Twins. I do remember that movie. Anyway. I guess I'm Danny DeVito then? <laughs> well, I'm certainly not Arnold, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> okay, we got like 12 cars to look at today that are here. New in the building. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> five, new, five new ones coming on That's the way. That's all I could think of. I know I have more. We have five new ones for sure coming, I, I forgot. And if you notice something right here, we're behind the Mach 1, and this was at, where'd you take it, Performance Plus? Performance Plus did the uh, dyno tune on this one Monday. I don't have the sheets in front of me, and I should have had them. Uh, and uh, they also said one of the nicest cars that's coming through their shop. Wow. One of the most well-built. This is a crazy street car. How much to the back wheels just on pump gas? Just on the regular, the lowest tune that we could do on it, uh, on pump gas, I believe was 720 <laughs> to the wheels. And if you flick the switch, it's still pump gas, but you got to add a can of octane boost, which gets you up to 100 octane. You don't change the timing or anything. It's just, it's, that's all you do is just Programming, the fuel. Well, oh, no, it does a little bit with the, with the switch. And then it's up to, I believe it was 910 um, to the wheels. So you're, you're talking 900 and 1100, and this has room easily to go up to the 13, 1400 horse. Holy smoke. But you can still drive this to Calgary and back and have lots of fun with it. But like you see like this parachute now and the side net on the driver's side, people would walk by the car and they wouldn't know what the car was. They just yeah. walked by it. Now, at least when you see the chute and you see the driver's net, then you take a second look. Okay, what's really going exactly, on? Exactly, exactly. Okay, we got a whole bunch of cars to look at. There's some new stuff even coming in, which is pretty exciting. I'm gonna actually move my yeah because one's gonna be coming tripod in, in here, here right now because it's gonna it's gonna disappear in a second here yeah uh, we're, why don't we start right here because it's gonna be making some noise in a second and then we'll come back to these ones we will okay I've been waiting for this car for a long time I had one brand new and I sold it I should never have sold it and I got another one it's a Hellcat it is it's a real Hellcat now <laughs> it's in perfect condition because there's how many kilometers on this car uh i don't know exactly it's right around ten thousand. i heard it was seven thousand wayne was thought it, seven? it was seven thousand it's low anyway it's really super low it's a 20 what it's a 17 17 and you can't tell by looking at the vehicle the, the vehicle in the video but wayne and i were kind of you know drooling over this a little while ago before we started the video the entire car entire car is covered in 3m yes the whole thing like we're talking every panel, roof, door roof, panels, every door panel, everything. the whole back, everything. The whole thing is 3 m That's why it looks amazing. And it is super clean. Like it is miraculously clean in here. We got all the factory stuff in the trunk, like your, like your, uh, your bright yellow. Uh, oh, those lower bumper valves yeah. pieces. Yeah, that everybody's always after, yep. Yeah, we got those and the, all the factory stuff that would come with the car. Uh, it is flawless. It's a charcoal gray. I don't think I've ever seen a Hellcat in this color. Before, it looks really good. And actually, it's, what's nice is it's not striped up or something like that, which is cool. It's very sleeper-ish. You know what I mean? Here's my new I race it's, car it's coming It's about in. to get really loud in here in a second. I haven't so, seen this car coming in, but I'm just kind of anxious for it. This is amazing. Let's go from one more part to another, and we can... Oh, they shut it off. We'll, we'll, oh, we'll come back to it. We'll okay. come back. We'll come back. This We're going to spin around right here. here. Well, I should have the hood closed, but oh, gave it away. Close it then. Okay, just partially. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look at that. Dun, dun, dun. 1968, as they say, a Hemi runner. There's the elephant. No kidding, look at the size of that thing. As you can tell with this build, this is a brand new build. Like, like... Oh, it's, it's absolutely it's spotless. Like spectacular. This is this is even gone beyond what it would have been at the factory. Oh, what way I mean, more. what I mean is like look at look at the finish of the paint inside here, yeah, right? It gets it's just spectacular. I know that we don't we can't see it right now, but the underneath the chassis is perfect on this car. It's it's just one of those like one of the nicer cars we've ever had through the showroom. Yeah, exactly. 
every uh, nut and bolt, every piece. B5 blue, of course. B5 blue. Got a Wiley in the- yeah, Wiley's in here. A bench. Look at a that. Bench, a calm shift. No power steering, no power brakes. I don't think there's an option on this car. Actually, it has a radio. It has that a radio. An option. That's an option. Option and red line tires, maybe. Right. That's about it. We don't even know if that's what it came with, though, right? Yeah, it could have just been. Could have just been regular black walls. Wow. Nice car, though. Like, beautiful car. So that's what I was asking you. We've got a, we've got some, some of these have a colored bird and some of them have a black and white. So is that a year by year thing? That's what I think is a year by year because one of the cars we have coming tomorrow is the same car, but in a 69. Um, and Which does, does that one have the cloud of dust trail going down the side? No, that's 70. That's 70. Okay. So the 69 is a little different yet. See, so, but we'll see that next week. There's so many details. Then we'll see what the difference is. Are they going to both be in the showroom at the same time? I can't ask for that. <laughs> I don't know. We need to have them side by side though. Wouldn't it? Same color too. Wow. Nice car. Holy smoke. No, it's not the same color. It'll be uh, different. It's, it's black. It's black. black. This is gorgeous though. Yeah. I, man, yeah, oh man. Is, and, to, and to hear this car run, if you've never heard a Hemi run in real life, you got to do it once. Like it's, <laughs> it sounds like no other. Wow. And this one runs really good. We could spend all day on this, but we've got 12 vehicles to we look at. We've got 10 more to do. So. 10 more. Where are we okay. going to next? You want to go to a Corvette, a Corvette, a Corvette, a Corvette, or a Corvette? You just pick. Okay. How we, about, can do, uh, we can do all, all at once. Let's do a Corvette. <laughs> sure, sounds good. Okay. Which one? We just got these ones in, so we have to still do some polishing and whatever. Um, let's try with this one. This was a collection, right? Yeah. Uh, of Corvettes. We got five Corvettes out of one collection. And are they all the same generation? Yeah, they're all C4s. They're all C4s. So this is a... Uh, I gotta look at my notes. This is a 1990. You can tell by the wheels, it kind of gives it away. That's right, yeah. Uh, 1990. They're all the same, but a little different. And, and you'll notice that when we're going right, through. Right, like, yeah, da dashboard's a little bit different in this than some of the other ones. Yeah, six this speed. has got six speed, right? This is the correct amount of pedals and convertible, which is awesome. You can kind of like, this is like having a Corvette dealer. You can take your pick of the Corvette you want now. We got eight Corvettes right now. Oh my God. That's springtime though, it's good. That's good, that's great. Okay, the next Corvette. Yeah, I don't uh, know, this one. Uh, this one. This one needs a polish. We did, this is not from this car. That's from, <laughs> it's not from this the car. The oil stain is not from this car. No, so you can see, where Gary started polishing in here? Yeah, it looks amazing. Oh, it's gonna come out. It, like, is, it looks beautiful, but it's gonna it gets out. a little bit, you know, streaky over there. It's gonna be perfect when it's done. You know what damages paint? People don't realize this. Uh, a car cover can really damage the paint. Right. If you don't know what you're doing or, or how to do it properly, um, they can really do a lot of damage. Yeah, no doubt. So that's what we're dealing with here. This is a 93. We got maroon. Burgundy, burgundy. So burgundy on burgundy. Yeah, we got a burgundy interior in this one. Black in the other one we looked at before. So this, this is an automatic. But the neat part about this one, get some of the polish out of here. Oh, the 40th anniversary. Cool. So the one we did last week, that 03. Yep. That's the 50th anniversary. This is the 40th anniversary. They're both the same color. Nice. Uh, coincidence? I don't know. But <laughs> we got another choice, another selection right here. Oh yeah. I like this. this. Uh, 89. The color combination is really nice on this. Yeah. This also has a white top. It's got a white yes. cloth top. Yes. Black interior. And you can tell the, like, you know, we're, we're getting back into the 80s because we've got the square pods. Yeah. You know, in the digital dash, a bit more squared off. And it's also automatic too. And it's an auto. Yeah, it is an auto. Yeah. So it's just like having your own Chevrolet Corvette dealership. That's and now we've got the big boy right here, right? Yeah, this is a... Uh... ZR1. 1990 ZR1. We had one of these last year. We did, and it was the same color and everything. Identical car. This one's got a few more kilometers. That one yeah, was that, like a meticulous, like, perfect original. 16 or 20,000 K. Yeah. This is not terrible. This has got about no, 90, 90 not at all. K on it. Not at all. It's still a ZR1. It's still really cool. And we got all we the got... documentation with it. We got all the paperwork. This is an actual Canada car. It was bought new in BC. Um, so most of these cars come from the US, but We've had two from Canada now in the, within the same year. Crazy. Uh, these cars are so special. Do your homework on these guys. Yep. Like the motor built by Lotus, like it, this is not your regular Corvette. So we've got one, two, three, four right here. And there's one, there's a 94 at the other shop. We didn't have room for it. 
<laughs> it won't fit here. I don't, I don't fit today. <laughs> it don't fit today. It don't fit. <laughs> okay, do uh, you want to do the pair of V-dubs right here? This is pretty sure. cool. This okay. is pretty wild. I've always wanted a beetle, and I've always wanted a bug, or a, a dune buggy. I waited for the right dune buggy. There's a lot of eh ones out there. This one is spectacular. It's nut and bolt. I got pictures online, I, I believe, right down to the pan. All the suspension, everything is brand new in this thing. Okay, well we got we got the pair right here to look at. We'll get to the beetle in a second. Let's start with let's start with the dune buggy right Dooner. here. So more, uh, Manx, is that what the well, or is I, this a different body? Because no, there was there the was Manx, an original. We don't, I don't have the paperwork with it. Um, and I haven't looked for any sign or any of the um, anything that would tell me that, it, that it's a real Manx. Look at the look at the metal the flake. Coat, yep. It's like a 70s speedboat or that ride at the mall. You know, the kitty yeah. rides? Look at the glitter in it. We're gonna finish this back panel. This yeah, is where the cool. uh, battery hides down here. Oh yeah, okay. Sort we're of unfinished. <laughs> but we're just gonna finish this panel just with a, a black vinyl. So it'll, it'll look like this. Yeah, it'd right? be nice to finish just it off. Pa you know, package yeah. tray to finish it off. Let's see if we can get, let's go back here first. Cause I guess it's like, I see twin carburetors. Yeah, twin Webers. It's uh, this is a really whizzy motor. I think it's uh, 19, over it's over 1900 cc holy i mean for for a beetle i mean that's a lot right well yeah i know that sounds like nothing it's 1.9 liter but this is a pretty big deal for there's no weight here there's nothing well that's just it i mean like this is like it's a metal floor pan and just a fiberglass yep. little body in fact it doesn't even have sides yeah, right it's like, like a it's like a fiberglass bathtub it's a bathtub on wheels, wheels yeah. with with a big motor with a big motor with a two liter yeah. engine in it even like right down to the nice steering column and tilt wheel and you don't see some of the stuff on these cars, right? No. And I, even the seats are very nice. It's just well, well done. It's it's good looking. This would be so fun at the campground or just this is actually a street legal. Um, well that's just it. I mean it's 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 probably weighs less than a side by side, but you could actually take it and drive it. It's actually it's actually cheaper than a than a new side by side too. <laughs> it's cheaper than a new side by side. Cool. Cheaper-ish. We got an oil pressure gauge and a speedometer, and that's it. And you're guessing on your fuel. No, you're, no, you got a fuel gauge. Is there a fuel gauge? It's right there. Oh, it's in the middle. Okay, yeah, it's in the middle. And that's it. Cool. That's all you need, though. Smell that? It smells like high octane. It smells it great smells like in about here. A, about, it smells like about a 106. <laughs> you can smell the octane of yeah. exhaust? Oh, well, yeah. You can't smell that? Where do you get 106 octane? 116 you can even get. Where? Brian had Performance Plus, Raid Hardcore. It's around. It's around. It's not a buck forty a liter, though. No, it sure ain't. No. This is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is this is even this the, was even the, the wheel. one I wanted. The wheels, wheels are great. Yeah. Look at that shiny black with the. Go on the website though, because I got all the all the build pictures of this. It's pretty impressive how this was done. I love this. Yes. I love the fact that you got a. Like this is this is Herbie the Love Bug style beetle, right? Remember what I was saying. About I wanted a beetle that come more California style, lower, yep. you know, and all the stuff. Like this obviously, is this is missing the roof rack, but you can't have it with the sunroof. So I'm happy with the with the sunroof. With a soft top beetle, so it's a 50 what? 61. Oh, it's a 61. Okay, so it's very very end of the era then, because we yeah. still have the double. Uh, I think they call those over under or uh, over overlanders. Right, and the Front single and small lenses right because yep. when we get to the mid 60s we get the big ugly things, ugly yeah. well they redid the beetle by then they changed it look at the awesome carbon gear we like style wheels and the back windows roll out i just i had to have it all open everything just yeah these know. they vent out which is great the color is so good red and tan this is oh. it's got the right look the right the stance wolf's the old wolfsburg emblems on yeah. there and on the wheels and inside is great too look at that somebody did a little bit of custom work with the seat covers but it's all just done well and i actually fit in there just fine you do hey oh yeah, yeah there's more room in these than what people think there is. there there totally is yeah. somebody put a whole bunch of custom gauges like they look period right but they're new good yeah. but they're, they're you new. know they're new and they function which is great this is kind of a cool one. So what's what's under the back of here? That's uh, 1600 cc. Oh, I locked it. Oh yeah, very nice. So this was built in Saskatoon a few years ago. Um, 
a guy that I that I knew back in the day. Um, he worked at Audi Warehouse, and he worked at I actually worked at, v, at Volkswagen. Awesome. He had, he had built this, so this is actually like a local built car. It's awesome. It's it's great. Right off, it's, right colors. It's it's perfect. Yeah, awesome Beetle. Okay, yeah, like we it. got what else? This to look at. Yeah. Okay, this is one of the ones that I was like, okay, we gotta. We got like we uh, everything comes in pairs or triplets around here, right? We got the Ford. That's the Ford. a Chev. That's Chev. A the Chev. That's a forty-seven sedan delivery. Okay, here's here's the difference. Okay, all right. Okay, this is a sedan delivery. This is a car. Yeah. People call it a panel. It's not. It's a sedan. Right. This is a truck. This is actual called a panel. Now, because of the way they sit now, you it's harder to they tell look apart. Similar. But but when they were new, that was ch car chassis rode fairly low anyways. Yep. And when this was new, it probably sat up pretty high. Actually. Truck. That's that's quite a bit bigger than this. Right. They're look. both the same era though. This is exactly the, the same era of vehicle. Look at that a straight Two, six. Two ninety two. This is hopped up pretty good. Poured and polished heads. Like it's it's. It's got your split manifold, your dual exhaust, all, all the good uh, go fast goodies. Um, four barrel carb, four apparently. Four barrel, 390 Holly. Oh, so awesome. that's where that's where the old stops here. I was, this is what I brought back from Edmonton. I was just there, uh, the Oilers game, watching the Bruins. Yep. Um, and I brought this back home. So this is where it stops. Now, back behind this is a, is a modern five speed. Now, this has got uh, Mustang two front. Yep. It's got a four link rear. It's four wheel disc brakes. It's full air ride. This is all modern with that kind of there. It's awesome. It's awesome. I, I believe it's right awesome. now this and is now this it's like this is air ride like it's low, and there's controls. You can move this thing around. I don't think. It's oh yeah. Look how cool it is. Inside. I love the seats. We have to do, it's partially done, but we have to finish it. Right, so the other one we got over there, the sedan, is all finished inside. This one's gonna be done. Yep. But again, nice dash, a little cool addition here with the stereo hanging off the bottom. You can see way over there, the control for the air ride is down there and three pedals. So it's got these, the right amount of pedals, like you said, are, five speed. These are factory bucket seats in here. What? Yeah, it's factory buckets. That's what the car came with? Yeah. It's factory buckets. Oh, okay, because I and that, wasn't... And that pulls forward. This thing leans forward. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. And that's how you climb into that back. back seat, which is going to get redone, obviously. So, but as far as my knowledge goes, this, this this would never have had a seat in the back. Right? At least the panel would have so been used. This, for... this was basically just here so you could reach things that were at the front of the back yeah. end of the car. Pretty cool. As you know what, I shouldn't say that it was never an option, but I don't think it was in a panel. I have a back seat, but anyway, it's finished really nice. And back here, uh, you gotta like, you gotta like the the barn doors. It's got the uh, birch floors in it. Oh yeah, I can see that down here. There's some stuff in here right now where it's gonna yeah, get spare tire, spare tire and all that stuff, you know. But very cool. And look at the okay. This is kind of neat. With the back bumper, he's water jetted the holes out. And oh yeah! Got bullet lights for your signals and brakes. Cool. And he's also got in the middle here, right, right on the bolt. There's a LED light. Yeah. Or like another, like a third brake light, but in there. Can't tell though. It's white. Turns red when it lights up. Exactly. And cool. in the front, there's two of the bumper bolts in the front are actually signal lights. Really? Yeah. Got a third brake light there too. Wow. Take a peek in here. Wild. So I kind of secretly bought this for myself because I, I think <laughs> this would be cool to cruise in this, this summer. Wouldn't it? Wow. A couple updates I want to do. I'm, I think I'm going to do a brand new chrome front grille and a brand new chrome bumper on the front. Yep. That'll kind of finish it off. Bumper is definitely more of one of original. It's original, yeah. And Let's see, there's the, right there's one of the signal lights. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty clever. Very, very well built. The guys had their heads underneath there and they were commenting on, on how good the wiring was done and just, they were pretty, impressed with this and the chassis work is incredible it's nice sweet nice thanks nice. okay what else what else we got to look at is that let's it? go let's follow the uh follow the high octane is the scent i can't believe you can't smell that oh yeah i can smell it hondas hondas don't have that kind of octane usually <laughs> <laughs> they don't require it yeah 
<laughs> hey, keep in mind, this is the first time that I've ever seen this car too. Oh. Still dusty from being in the trailer. Oh, wow. Okay, now I get a better idea. When you see that back tire, you oh, see yeah, the roll cage go. in it. Wow. The 78, I believe. But it's got an 81 scoop on it and 81 front end. I don't know. I'll have to okay. do some well, more work on we might, it. But, we might get uh, to talk about that more for the next video. We thought yeah, we'd just well, give you a little little preview of what all that noise was when it's coming through <laughs> okay so rod what else we got coming okay sorry i got oh, just that scent it just got me <laughs> okay we got like we were talking about got a, a 69 runner yep four speed coming tomorrow i got another k10 four by four long box mm. very similar to the gray one we had this is black and red two-tone oh cool it's pretty nice truck that'll be here next week we're hoping uh, the 89 Suburban Dually is still coming. Oh, that's going to be so cool when it gets here. The 72 GS, that should be here for next week too. Yep. And I just the other one I just secured, we got another project-ish, and we're going to put it out there. Um, the last one we had here, a uh, customer bought it and we had finished it for him. We have another Mach 1 coming. 1970 Mach 1. Ooh. I just got the Marty report sent to me. It's a real Mach 1. It's a factory black car. 351 with a shaker, a black stripe, factory orange interior. What? You're kidding. Yes. And it's a four gear. Nice. Factory louvers. Huh. So we got that one coming too. Pretty juicy. If no one else, if nobody wants us to build it for them, I'll be happy to keep it for myself. <laughs> so if you saw something you liked in the video, there's too much to choose from obviously right now. You can go any way you want, but if you like it, it could be yours. Go to rodshotrods.ca, check out all the pictures, details, pricing is all up there for you. Thank you for watching this week. Uh, we'll come back and bring you more good stuff next week. Like and subscribe, and see you next time on Hot Rod Hangout.